not so well for Aston Villa. Giovanni Trapattoni was at that match today. We mentioned the fact that he, he met Richard Dunn before the game, and Richard Dunn has announced that he is continuing on with the Republic of Ireland. When he is fit, he will be back wearing that green jersey. And, and your, your response to that and your reaction to that, Kenny, first of all, that's really good news after what happened with Damien Duff yesterday retiring. Yeah, it is good news. I think the manager genuinely felt that uh, the likes of Shea and Damien would stay on for another qualifying campaign. So I think he was taken aback a little bit when not only Shea, but certainly Damien took a step back last week. And that maybe shook him a little bit. I think he realised the significance then that Richard hangs around at least for the next couple of years. So I think that was obviously the reason why he decided to make the trip uh, to Aston Villa, which he hasn't done on too many occasions. So it was the right thing to do and good to hear from Richard that he intends to stay around. Now he's got an injury at this moment in time. He won't make the Kazakhstan match. But certainly the double header against Germany and the Faroes, mm. it'll be important to have him back. I think for the other lads as well, I think Richard, some of the players really look towards for, for leadership and to actually lead them. He's a big personality in that dressing room. And if we're going to have any chance of qualifying this time around, you know, we need Richard Dunn at the heart of that Irish defence. And, and Ronnie, your thoughts on, on Damien Duff's decision to, to retire from international football. 14 uh, amazing years, 100 caps, he's been an incredible servant. Yeah. But there was surprise in some quarters that he had decided to quit. I think he's been looking very, very fit this season. Two goals and two games. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it could have done a job for Ireland still. You know, with younger lads coming into the squad also, they look up to a Damien Duff. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, it, it would have been good to bring these kids along. Unfortunately, he's decided it, it's his time now to pack yeah. in. Um, players do it because they don't want to be playing so many extra games all season. Um, are, are they getting to a stage where it, it just can't keep doing it, can't keep doing it, can't mm. keep turning up? But he's made his decision now. It's a blow for Ireland. But um, we'll see now if the young lads coming in can, can do the job that we've been hoping they will be able to do. Yeah, well, let's have a look at the, the squad, which was announced by Trapattoni. And you, you talk about the young lads. There, there's some omissions. Kieran Clark, who got sent off today, is not there. Wes Houlihan um, isn't exactly a young lad, but he's a, he's a new guy in Trapattoni terms. What did you make of, of this squad, Kenny? Yeah, well, I wasn't wholly surprised. I wouldn't have too much argument. Clear and Car uh, Kieran Clark's an interesting one. It's someone I've watched over the last couple of years. He's had a few problems with injuries last season in particular, but I think he's got some very good attributes. Uh, you know, he's very mobile. He's aggressive in the tackle, not embarrassed with the ball at his feet. Very versatile. Can occupy a number of positions, centre-half, left-back and centre midfield. And I, he's one player I would have liked to have seen integrated into the squad over the coming months. Maybe that will happen in the near future. I'm not too sure. So maybe that's a slight disappointment. But the rest of the squad... I wouldn't have too many qualms. Dara, for me, it's not so much about the personnel, it's about the philosophy and how we're going to play going forward. And if we're going to approach this qualifying campaign and play in a manner which we have done previously, particularly at the European Championships in the summer, you know, I'd be probably as pessimistic as I have been in a, going into a qualifying campaign. I think we have to learn from our mistakes in the summer and we have to look to change how, how, how we play and how we set up. And if we don't do that, I'd fear for us a little bit going into this qualifying campaign. But time will tell of course. Yeah. Are there signs Ronnie for you that, that the manager is going to look at, at changing the system of play and the way we approach these games? No. Okay. <clears throat> That's a problem for me. We have to change. We were, sh we were showing up unfortunately at the Euros. You know when you come up against top teams now Spain and Italy, um, even Croatia, they all showed a different side, passing the ball movement, which we didn't do. You've got to remember Sean St. Ledger, centre back was the best passer. In, in one half of the Spain game, I think it was. Mm. Now, that is a problem when your midfield players are not getting on the ball, passing it. Yes, it's great to have heart and, and, and desire and will to try and win games. When you get to the top level, you've got to have a little bit more than that. Ireland, I think, have got to change how they play. You know, the manager's got to make a decision. Will we go one up front and put five across midfield? And, and the way European football is at the moment, a lot of teams are playing that way. And yeah. I think we would be a stronger unit if we went that way. OK, very good. We're going to move on.